Hi everyone, this is Bronislava from Handmade Rukodielky and today's uh, video is part 3 of uh, 3 videos um, about the boots uh, so look for part 1 and 2 if you if you would like to go and uh, crochet these boots together with me This is my short uh, strap that uh, I have already made and today we will be actually working on a long one. Um, the shorter one would be only three chains shorter. So this one I started on 23 chains but the longer one I will be making 26 chains starting on 26 chains. And um, this is approximately how much longer from here to here, how much longer the longer strap will be, uh, which is about three quarters of an inch. Okay. So uh, if you want to make shorter one, uh, make 23 chain stitches. And this is going to be the longer one. So we will start on 20 and let's go and leave a, a longer tail actually uh, because uh, we will be using it for sewing it onto the boot uh, so start on 26 chains okay so this is our first uh, knot stitch which we don't really count right and now we will make 26 chain stitches one two three four five. 24 25, 26. Now we will count three stitches back and into fourth one we will start making um, half double crochet stitches. So one, two, three and into fourth make half double crochet stitches. So yarn over and pull yarn through the stitch the fourth one and through all three loops and another one and crochet into each chain one half double crochet stitch 23 times I'm finished with my first row of 23 half double crochet stitches and I will turn around and I will go and make two chain and I will go and make 23 half double crochet stitches again all right and uh, this uh, two chain belongs to this hole right here so we're not gonna crochet in there we will start crocheting right here and make like I said 23 half double crochet stitches in our second row and then we will repeat one more time one more row okay so half double crochet into each of these stitches from previous row this is 21 22 and one more in our chain 3 stitch over here because this was our initial chain 3 stitch where uh, if you remember we went into fourth stitch right here okay now you will turn around and do the same thing two chain skip this very first hole and crochet into this second uh, hole first uh, half double crochet and that's one and 22 more and finish with 23rd half double crochet in um, two chain over here okay so just keep uh, making half double crochet stitch in each stitch from previous row I am finished with my 23rd stitch and I will make one more uh, chain 
and I will cut this string off. Okay. Now we will use this one to sew this uh, strap on. So, and this one uh, just to um, make sure that it doesn't come out as well. Okay. So leave this one at least one string really long, and one um, you know just to make sure that it doesn't untangle or whatever. So now we will start working on, so turn around where you, where you basically finished and we will start, start working on uh, with the brown yarn and we will make single crochet stitches uh, along the entire row here and then I will show you what I was, what I did over here on this tip and then we will continue crocheting here single crochet stitches. Let me show you what I meant um, by um, crocheting around with the brown. I started right here and I continued this way then I continued around this you know this edge short edge and then continued crocheting this way and then I went with the back stitch all around okay all around so we will start in the first stitch right here and we will make uh, first a chain one and I will start with both ends both yarns together and as usual I will crochet over this end um, so I don't have to tag it in later on and uh, like I said we will continue doing single crochet stitches into each stitch one single crochet stitch to the end of this row because I started my a chain in a first stitch instead of a chain stitch over here uh, I crocheted it so far uh, 21 single crochet stitches and this is going to be my 22nd single crochet and in that corner we will make two more single crochet stitches so we can turn the corner when you turn the corner we will continue working along this short side this way over here we will make one single crochet stitch now we will make two chain one two now we will make one single crochet stitch right here and now in here in the first um, stitch of the chain that means second chain right there we will make uh, three single crochet stitches again to turn the corner so this is one this is second and one more and now we will crochet into each of these loops from uh, the beginning when we cast it on we will make one single crochet stitch one single crochet stitch another one in the next stitch and you go like this all the way to the end of the row so here you see how I finished my row and I have actually 23 single crochet stitches here I have only 22 single crochet stitches here but 23 here but don't worry because we will finish this edge on the way back okay and now what we will do is we will start crocheting single crochet backwards that means that we will we will still we will not turn our work we will keep the work this way and we will uh, crochet 
backwards okay so we will we will not work into this one here we will start working right into this one right there so this is how you hold your hook and you go with the hook forward and into that stitch that seconds right next to it okay you grab the yarn you pull it forward and then you you have two loops you see it and you go and pull through both loops and the next stitch will be in the next next one okay so we we worked in this one and now we will be working in this one so again you will go and put your hook through that loop through that stitch pull yarn through and pull yarn through th both loops and do it like this I think 22 times until you get over here actually including this uh, corner alright so you just go all the way over here and then we will do something else right here okay so just work slowly and beautifully and uh, enjoy making a beautiful strap because I love the way it's finished over here I love it my dog my female dog is sleeping here next to me. She is snoring. She came upstairs. She's old. And she's camera shy. She was always, always afraid of my camera whenever I would pull my camera out to take pictures of her she would run away now she's deaf poor thing and today when I was uh, um, taking pictures actually she did not even realize that I am using my camera because she couldn't hear the um, the sound of the camera I think that why that's why she was always running away because she didn't like the sound okay you see here I am getting uh, into this corner right here and I'm continuing so this is my first my second from my uh, three stitches this would be my other one but I think yes that's it I'm not gonna do this one right here this is where I will stop I won't be doing my third one in here okay and what I will do I will turn around so will you and we will make where you have those two chain stitches this is where you will make seven double crochet stitches into this area into that space okay so we will make one two three and these are double crochet stitches okay this is four five six and one more and you notice I pushed I pushed this bottom a little bit so I can go and finish my two more uh, stitches and now I will turn around again okay I will not do my back stitch single crochet back stitch in here I will not do it in here I will start making my back stitch in here in the, in the third one one two three okay so 
so so we have to go this way this way in there and then grab the yarn and pull through both loops and the next one here can you see it I hope it's not too dark this one here okay so we will go in and pull yarn through and make pull yarn through both loops okay make a stitch that way and again and the next stitch and again down in grab use your wrist you see I'm using my wrist when I am working okay it's very important it's gonna be so much easier on you if you use your wrist and these are my last stitches and one more into our initial uh, stitch right there let's go and push it through both both of them so it looks better okay that's it and we will use this make this string long actually you don't need to make it that long um, because we're not gonna go and do too much sewing here and here okay and now you just need to go and sew it to your boots and this you remember when we this this is going to be for your button okay now all what you have to do is sew your straps one above each other okay and then just attach the button and button your straps in an angle like this wherever you want them okay whatever you want those buttons another uh, thing that what you could do is make one really long strap along uh, along the boot here we are I have uh, sewn the um, straps over here I could have done better job but I was uh, rushing because it's getting dark and this is how it basically will look like um, you will just need to sew on some buttons you can do it by yourself I don't think I have to teach you and that's how it will look like all right so the long strap I started on chain of 100 you could also make a chain on of 150 and make it uh, wrap around three times if you want but I will make it wrap around two times so make chain of 100 chain stitches I have a uh, hundred stitches like the one that I made before and now you also because uh, many of you knit uh, or crochet actually in this case uh, loosely or some of you will probably uh, crochet tightly so just measure if it goes on the outer side of your boot uh, twice around and um, if it doesn't then add a couple more stitches okay um, so I have 100 uh, stitches over here and now I will make two more one two and I will go into third one and make a double crochet stitch okay so one two three into third one and I will make double crochet stitch all right and another double crochet stitch 
actually let me go just through one loop over here so uh, yarn through two loops and yarn through two loops okay and uh, make a hundred double crochet stitches uh, which it means one double crochet stitch in each stitch all the way to the end okay so do that and here I am at the end of my row and this is my 99 and 100 double crochet stitches now I will um, make an extra chain or a stitch or whatever and I will cut this off and we will work now with brown color and I basically so when I stopped uh, my stitch right here um, you can actually either start right here or start here but continue going around so you have all the stitches on the right side okay actually what we could have done also is we could keep that stitch which I did not in the, when I was making my first um, strap we could do this look you see you could you could start your stitch and tighten up this stitch now we will make chain stitch and now we can actually crochet around all these three ends so we will make one single crochet stitch right here okay into that um, into that tall um, double crochet stitch okay tighten up this one a little bit you see because it was too loose and we will make one more no, uh, single crochet stitch we will be working with single crochet stitches right now you see this has kind of like a big hole in there so I, what I will do is I will put my hook through these two loops right there okay can you see that I hope so and make a single crochet stitch and now over here I will make three or at least two single crochet stitches let's go and see how it's going to look like this is one two in the same stitch that's what I meant okay let me see yes one more it just didn't make that roundness around the corner so one more and now we will go into each of these you see where it these two kind of cross so that's where I will go and then right here okay and right there when you see them two above each other that's that's where I will go and insert my hook to make my single crochet stitch okay and another one look right there you see and another one see I am crocheting over these ends and I don't have to um, in that case I really don't have to weave them in I'll just place them between my yarn if you do that 
you know crochet over those ends you really need a lot of dexterity you have to be very good at that because you see <laughs> you have to you have to work with too many fingers you have to place it in there and blah 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 and crochet around it and you have to have also patience not just dexterity but also a patient patience yeah okay you see look how nice and clean it looks now right okay and so I just will continue now you can see what I'm doing all right so I go into each of these stitches and I make one single crochet stitch and you will uh, if you like long strap like I do you you will do the same and you know that I made another video uh, that is very plain bo uh, video of boots uh, and those boots are very plain if you made those uh, boots you can add strap to them That is, I will post a link to those boots. Actually, I have a playlist with boots, and I will be putting into that playlist um, the video, these three videos for right-handed and three videos for left-handed. So, if you are, um, if you want, you can go and look at that playlist. All right, I'm going to speed up the video, all right? And when I get to I will show you what I am doing in this area. So here I am uh, at the end of my first row where I was actually crocheting on the bottom of my uh, first row, okay? And now I get to this point where I will be making those um, three in this corner, three single crochet stitches, okay, in this corner, and then three single crochet stitches in this corner, and one in between. So in this one we will make three single crochet stitches. Let me make sure that we grab so we don't have a hole there. Okay, so this is one. two three now we will make one we will make one single crochet stitch now we will make three single crochet stitches again one two three and now we will just continue making one single crochet stitch let me see how does that look Okay, so we will start making one single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way to the end. So you see, just continue going in that direction and this way you have uh, this stitch is on the right side and these stitches are on the right side because we just continued going around and I will see you again at the end of this row hey buddy hello hey who came to visit me here who came to visit? Hello, buddy. Yoda. Hey, Yoda. Did you come and visit? Do you want some scratching? You want to be petted, huh? You want to crochet with me? I'm coming to the end, Yoda. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I know, I know you want me. I know you want me to go and scratch you. I know you do. 
You're such a good doggy. You want to go to bed, so I can crochet some more, huh? Oh, I need to go and finish this. Look. <laughs> I need to finish this, buddy. <laughs> go to beddy, go. Wait for me in beddy. Where is your mother? Huh? Where is your mother? She's sleeping somewhere. Okay, uh, so here I am uh, finished with my uh, end and this this is where we started so I will make uh, two more stitches right in this corner all right two more uh, single crochet stitches and then we will connect it over here and then we just join it with a slip stitch and that's it okay so this is our strap and all we need to do is uh, sew on a button and basically finish this. He's patiently waiting for me. <laughs> uh, so I will go and tag this uh, end in and like I said I will uh, sew on a button and then I will use one of these holes between double crochet stitches um, to as a hole for buttonhole okay like that that's what I will do so I sewed on my uh, button and uh, like I said we can go and use one of these um, holes between the double crochet stitches as a buttonhole and this is how it is going to go and look like. So now I'm going to go and put it on my boot and see how it works. Oh, also, if uh, when you crochet and it seems that it's a little too tight, just stretch it up a little bit um, so it uh, it looks uh, not too too tight around your boot. Okay. So here we are at the end of the video. Um, again yay uh, anyway so uh, if you crocheted at all along with me I would really appreciate if you would share your images of your of your boots you can go and um, take pictures and then upload it somewhere uh, on internet and then share the link in the comments area that would be great. I really appreciate that. I really love when people go and uh, have use of my videos. Um, that's it. And uh, I really also appreciate when you share my videos. That's wonderful. Many of you do. I really appreciate it. Great. Love my followers. It's great. Um, I can't say enough. Great. <laughs> and enough. Thank you it's it's uh it's great <laughs> so uh i guess uh, that's it i will see you another time